tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Well, I guess skateboarding has always been around part of my yeah. life. Like my dad had a skateboard in the house. My older brother had a skateboard in the house. But it wasn't until I was about 13 or 14. And I really stood on a longboard, a downhill skateboard. Yeah. And I knew that that was the one for me. And like, I never thought I would be like super competitive yeah. about it, but it kind of just turned out that way. I didn't like losing and yeah. I just, I skated for fun. I skated because I loved it every day. And eventually it turned into what it turned into, it took over. Nice. Where did that, was that? No one on the Philippine team does all four, but uh, like some people do three, like Christiana Means did three. Yeah. Uh, Margie did two. Um, I only did one, but it, it's, it's hard to do all four, but I'm sure it's possible. Yes. Like yes. I skate a little bit of street, but not on a worldwide competitive level for sure. Yeah. Yeah. For me, so you, I think for most people, skateboarding yeah. comes with uh, a certain amount of freedom because mm -hmm. you have to be so in the moment, so focused because you can't do anything wrong, right? Yeah. So I guess that was it. It was the freedom being up a 12 year old kid with you know school and all these things going on when you just get on your skateboard you're just like oh i know what to do i'm just gonna skateboard right it's, it's real simple it's freeing it's it became like a natural yeah outlet. it just became my passion basically yeah. and, and then yeah for and sure anybody who's following their passion is you know yeah good on them yeah so a while ago you had mentioned that you had mentioned some of your teammates. Mm -hmm. um, you guys really made waves in the Sea Games, especially mm -hmm. since um, that was the first time the Sea Games um, hosted the skateboard tournament, and you mm -hmm. won gold. So, can you talk more about the Philippine skateboard team? Like, mm -hmm. what's your role like there besides um, competing in the downhill category? How's the Philippine skateboard team like? Well, it was actually crazy to... We only met the whole team, all was it 14 or 15 of us, like the week before SEA Games. Oh, wow. You guys were 15? Yeah, because we had eight. We had uh, four different deci uh, disciplines to fill yeah. up. And just for downhill, there were uh, four of us. Yeah. Right. Anyways. It was just cool to see how all skaters are kind of the same. They were just really cool people. You know, we hung out in the hotel for a, a week before. Yeah. And everyone focuses on their own discipline, but they're all, we just became instant yeah. friends. Yeah, yeah, it was really cool. And I guess oh, for downhill, sorry. yeah. yeah. Our down, us, us downhill guys have been together for a long time. So that's always been, that, that, was, that was a big switch for everyone because for a long time we were just skating just racing because we loved it because that was our scene just wanted yeah. to prove ourselves to ourselves you know and then once that came out we all switched we were like oh we have mm. to be athletes we have to get back in the gym yeah you know, diets everything it was crazy we just really became proper athletes from then on out mm. and took it as seriously as possible because of course anybody would be amazingly stoked to be offered like hey do you want to represent your country you're like course that's every athlete's dream yeah. right yeah be like hey what you love doing is now you can get a gold medal for it for now, sure like, yeah okay let's do our best for me my why was simple it's like oh it's because i love it yeah and if i never had to race or compete again that would be fine i would still laugh and smile on my yeah. skateboard you know so, so i think it's growing naturally well yes I, of course i think margie is a great role yeah. model and it's good to have people that are welcoming and in the scene and want to help and really want to push it, show the good yeah. side of skateboarding because for a long time skateboarding was seen as a counterculture, you know, punks, you know, people yeah. with tattoos, you know, drugs or whatever. And you have to get over that stigma to put it in the mainstream. Mm. And a few years ago, like two or three years ago, it started being in commercials, skateboarding was in commercials, it was yeah. more popular you know, among artists and stuff. And that has a lot to do with it, media. But media, of course, having a Philippine team and role models is a good thing too. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Because now kids can be like, "Hey, I'm not just gonna skate if I wanted to take it seriously. If I wanted mm. a path, there is one now." You yeah, know, which is cool. 
don't yeah, skate there's... on open roads because while there are beautiful mountain roads to skate in the Philippines, yeah. you can't just go skating down mountain roads without knowing what you're doing. There are cars, there are guardrails, there are cliffs and trees and bad things can happen. So really be as safe as possible. Don't get injured and just trust the process, I guess, as any athlete would. If you're not good now, keep going, you'll get better. Stuff like that. Trust the process really is what yes. I believe in. I like that term, trust the process, because I think that's something we can apply, not just in sports, mm -hmm. but in whatever career we totally. went through. So, I never really had any major doubts. I mean, of course, I thought like, hey, maybe I won't skate and I'll just get a regular job. Yeah. And yeah. I, I, I could just do that. Right. But it, I would just say it's pure passion. I have a love for the sport that I don't think can, that anything will break. Yeah. So that's the main thing. You really have to have a why, like I was saying. You have to have a good why. Why you do it. Yeah, or it, you'll, anything will stop you. I guess right. the basic ones, the general ones that you get from all sports. Yeah. Are discipline. Yeah. Right? Training when you don't want to train. Because I'll skate whenever, but going to the gym mm -hmm. has never been my thing. So right. Discipline, right. for sure. Yeah, sometimes there are things you don't want to do that will lead you to success. Right? And... <laughs> Some things that are like more specific to skateboarding, my kind of skateboarding, being brave, I think. Being brave, yeah. Being like, oh, should I make this pass? Is this a good move? Seeing an opportunity and going for it. Not letting anybody say, oh, you can't do that. You're not going to win this race or anything like that. Be committed. Believe in yourself. Like, Because a lot of people will stand on the top of a hill that goes 40 or even 100 kilometers an hour and be like, I can't do this. Simple as that. There's no way I'm yeah, doing it. Yeah. So you really have to get over that, conquer that fear, have yeah. faith in yourself. Well, be like, I can how long this is what happened. 13, 14? Having, that's when people like really started to believe in like what downhill skateboarding was going to become. Yeah. So I guess to tell other people, I would say stay open to all of these opportunities. Be like a sponge. Be ready to learn. Yeah. Because although not everyone's right, not all advice is good advice. Yeah. It's not a bad right. idea to hear it. You know? <laughs> yeah. So stay like a sponge. Like, like, please wear a helmet. And aside from that, yeah. you can't go wrong because yeah. you're going to fall. You're going to learn. You're going to like what you're going to learn what you like. Yes. Yeah. I'm not going to tell someone, hey, this is, you have to do it the way I do it. Right. Because they learn to play themselves. That's not how skateboarding works. I can't tell you that my go fast style yeah. is the perfect way to do it. You can just skate to your friend's house. And if you're smiling, that's good enough for me. You know, from A to B, if you wanna just do a little cross step or no tricks necessary, that's, there's no minimum for skateboarding. Everyone thinks, oh, I have to be a skater. I have to learn all these tricks. Mm. Like, no, you don't. You can just skate. You can listen to music and just skate. Yeah. It's, it's really easy. So just be honest with yourself and with what you like. Yeah. Trust yourself. Yes. And be yes. safe. That's, just please really be safe. Great. That's my number one thing. Just please be safe. <laughs> okay. Well, um, the basics are helmet, knee pads, help. and for my kind of skateboarding, gloves. Gloves. You have gloves with a little plastic puck on it, and that protects you. And if you do like real racing, we'll get a leather suit, full leather suit when we race. <laughs> I think for anybody, right? Yeah. It's, for... uh, you have to, you owe it to yourself to be as everything you want to be yeah right? so if you have even the thought like hey maybe i'm a skater maybe i want to be a skater and you might not be but you owe it to yourself to try it right and then trust yourself be loyal to it if you think this is your path mm -hmm. just be loyal you don't know where it's gonna go but yeah. it's your path it's uniquely yours and you might as well follow it i guess yeah. Like I said, I, I got lucky because yeah. it came to me early and I didn't yeah. realize that I, it wasn't like I had to make a big brave choice to go skateboarding. It wasn't until later that the brave choice was not subscribing to, not conforming to what everyone else said I should do. Yeah. They were like, yo, you're, you're 20, you're 21. Stop skateboarding, work with us in the bank or get into real estate like the rest of us. So it's, it's that it's, you have to be 
brave. I know Fred, I have friends of mine who were working in banks, were work, try, studying to be lawyers or doctors. And if that's your calling, go for it. You don't have to become a skateboarder, you know, mm -hmm. but I have friends who are like, oh, I really love music. I wish I could really become a rapper or a guitarist yeah. or start a band. And they're the people that always go to me like, hi, man, I'm so stoked for you that you followed your passion. That's what kills me. I'm like, you could too. Yeah, yeah. You really could too. It's just, you have to have, I don't want to say you gotta got be brave. You have to have the balls. You have to just see the opportunity. Right. And seize it, grab it and be like, I'm going to do it. Right. And not be scared to fail. You're on a success success path as long as you don't yeah. stop. Yeah. You have yeah. it. As long as there's one thing we learned today it's Jaime's athletic career started from what was once he considered hobby like what he mentioned he was just skating in the streets of Alabang outside his house until he eventually decided he'd bet on himself and pursue skateboarding there are risks he took like what he mentioned a while ago selling his skateboard finding ways to raise funds just to travel and just to travel or abroad and raise his international rankings these are the rate these are the risk in life that can ma either make you or break you in your career and just like what Jaime said through discipline trust in the pro trust in the process of getting better each day and going for what you want in life and not being afraid of failure you can find your calling so that's what sports really 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 teaches us all Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila.